Does it look weird? It looks kind of weird. Um, hello. Hey guys, it's Alex from 7th Hour Films back again with Attack on Titan. Um, I've just... So, okay. You've probably seen, I have curtains on my wall. Normally I close them at night, open them during the day, and pretty much in every video that I've had these curtains, I've kept them open. However, today I just felt like leaving them closed, so... Yeah, we're gonna try it. Last time on Attack on Titan, we had Assault, where, uh, continuing on in the attack, uh, we had the other Titans coming in to face Eren and the Scouts. Um, let's see. The Cart Titan was taking out, uh, some ODM gear, uh, Scouts, uh, because she was good at that. However, uh, after a coordinated, well, kind of coordinated strike, uh, a silently coordinated strike, from uh, Sasha and Jean, the Panzer unit was taken out and the Cart Titan immobilized. Uh, meanwhile, Levi just quickly, in one fell swoop, literally one fell swoop, dealt with the Beast Titan. Um, the uh, Aaron tried to eat the Warhammer Titan, but it was unsuccessful, so he had to crack open the Warhammer Titan like an egg and used uh, the Jaw Titan as a nutcracker and drank the blood and guts and uh, hopefully the uh, Titan spinal fluid of the Warhammer Titan. So RIP to Chuck. Yeah. Um, and just as he was about to eat the Jaw Titan, uh, Rhyna got up, but the Armored Titan's looking a bit different, so... Yeah, it's, uh, don't know if he's really up to fight or not. Also, we finally, uh, saw Armin use the Colossal Titan, uh, pretty much just to explode and destroy the Port of Marley at Liberio, so... Yeah. Also, there's a blimp. Uh, Hanji is here with a blimp, and, uh, what seems like, uh, she's also here with, uh, some allies, uh, to parody. So, yeah. And that was basically that. Like always, the reaction is down in the description and in the pinned comment for your viewing pleasure. So let's go ahead and jump right into this episode of Attack on Titan. Here we go. No, I need to tell you. Okay. Um, folks, it's full disclosure time. It is full disclosure time. Um, so, I don't remember when exactly this episode aired. I think it was somewhere towards the beginning of the year 2021. Uh, for reference, I'm watching this on September 20th. Months after this episode had aired in both the sub and in the dub. Um, and back when this episode aired... Um, back when this episode aired... I was just checking Twitter. Like a normal person. Uh, and I went over to the trending page see what was going on. Uh, and I remember a couple episodes ago... Declaration of War was trending. I knew it was in, in relation to Attack on Titan. But I didn't know anything else. It just said, hashtag Declaration of War, whatever. So I didn't think anything of it. But, when this episode rolled around, um, and I didn't know it was this episode specifically going into it, but I did see, hashtag Sasha. And then, the description of it that said, Attack on Titan fans mourn the death of a beloved character. And if you were the one who wrote that description on Twitter, fuck you for doing that. Because if it was just hashtag Sasha, no one gives a shit. You know? That doesn't say anything. Yes, it could. It could be because they died. But if it was just hashtag Sasha, nothing else. You know? that For me, that could just mean uh, Sasha did something crazy, you know? She was able to kill something. I don't know. Like, the episode, second episode of season two was a Sasha episode where she saved that girl from a Titan, you know, uh, during that whole fiasco. But no, uh, the Twitter description decided 
to completely spoil that Sasha died. That said, I didn't know what episode it was. I just knew that it happened in season four. And I will be honest with you, I forgot. I legitimately forgot until she got shot. I legitimately forgot about that until she got shot. So the shock and sadness, let me tell you that is real. I guess that's up to you whether or not you will believe me, but that's just the full disclosure I wanted to give here that technically, yes, I did know that Sasha was going to die this season. But I didn't think it would be so quick. I didn't think it would be so sudden. I didn't think it would be fucking Gabi that did it. And right when, right after that, that hug, oh, that hug, you know, it's like, you two are special to me. And it's like, yes, your brothers and sisters in arms. I mean, they've known, the scouts, this group has been together for nine years, you know? This group has been together for nine years. <sighs> well, here, I shouldn't delay this anymore. See, the only other thing I'm thinking is, obviously, my natural instinct now is to put Sasha in the thumbnail. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that without spoiling it myself, so you'll see. Obviously, once this episode goes out, you'll see how I sort of tap dance around it to have Sasha without having it explicit that she ended up dying. So... To our, to our girl, our, our baby girl, you know what, she, that's the thing, you, you may notice, <laughs> you may notice on some of these reactions that occasionally, like, if I'm really invested in a female anime character, I'll call them baby girl, um, I think I've done that with Mikasa, I'm pretty positive I've done that with Historia. Uh, especially because she's so small and cute. But you know what, Sasha? Sasha is our our meat-loving baby girl. I almost don't want to drink it because it, it means I have to accept that she's gone. But to Sasha, Sasha Browse, our meat-loving baby girl. But, I mean, I can't even blame Gabi. With Gabi, it's frustrating, but only because we've had three other seasons with Aaron Yeager. Because we've had three seasons with Aaron... Now we're watching Gabi and it's like, well, what the fuck? We're just, it's the same thing. We're just back. This is her first season, you know? Literally, her season one for Aaron. So. Let's talk notes. Um, not round three. <laughs> that was not a round three. But Rhina did... Save Galliard, I guess? So basically, Eren used the last of his strength to hit Rhyna. Basically, what he's implying is he, he didn't have the strength to pick up Galliard and try to eat him. I assume that's what it is. So, Marley is left with three titans now. The armored titan, the cart titan, and... Uh, and the Jaw Titan. Uh, 
we had mention of the garrison unit. I, I did like that, uh, that members of the garrison unit uh, joined the scouts. I, I, I do really like that. Um, and honestly, because it's like they don't, like you would honestly think they would reform into one unified military force. But no, it's still the scout regiment. Like who's in charge? You know, who is the head honcho of the parody war effort? Commander Hanji. That's who. Like, none of this other stuff, It it's it's Hanji. She's like, you know, commander-in-chief, basically, of the war effort now. It's just the scout regiment. So I like that. That even this commander from, uh, from the garrison unit has now joined the scouts. Only to be killed by Gabi. Um, we had the... The mention of the new Eldian Empire. Well, there's at least one person on Aaron's side. There's one person on Aaron's side. Flock. Who is completely down for the new Eldian Empire. Flock is ready to repeat history. Jean is not, though. Jean is not. He, he's ready for it to end. Uh, Gabi, I mean, it's infuriating, but it's true. See, it's, it's a difference. The difference between this and season one is in season one, all of Eren's anger is focused on these mindless beasts, you know, they're, they're basically just animals, you know? The Titans were basically just animals, you know? Yeah, they they cause destruction, they specifically eat humans, they look like humans, but at the end of the day, it was just... They were animals, you know? Just mindless animals. And you could... You could look at this... You could look at the... It's it's like zombies, you know? They're just mindless. You don't... It doesn't matter. Now, the difference is humans. These are humans that have attacked Gabi's home and killed her friends and basically proved to her what she has always been taught by the oppressive Marlians that the... The Eldians on parody, they are devils. That has just been quadruply reinforced. Now, that might all be torn down by Zeke, but we'll have to see. And it's one of those things, like, I... Yeah, I, I almost said, get off your high horse. Because she's thinking, yeah, I'm above them. Because they are just ruthless people that just came here. But the Marlians did the same thing when they sent those wars. Now, the whole thing of, oh, Falco, I wasn't there. Were you there? No, then it doesn't matter. It's like, it still fucking happened, though. It still fucking happened, like, and it's a it's a problem of both sides. It, and you know what? Okay, here's... <sighs> okay, here's new comparison. Because we've... We have constantly said that the Marlians and the Eldians, they're very much our Nazi Jewish allegory for this show. You want another allegory? Another World War II allegory? I've got one for you right here. Pearl Harbor and the two bombs detonated in Japan. <sighs> I'm suddenly feeling very guilty about this fucking shot glass. <laughs> Christ, I never thought of it. And I've thought, and recently too, I've thought about the 
the bombings, the atomic bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And I've got a fucking shot glass of it. In hindsight, that sounds fucking insensitive. Anyway. Well, we're just going to say it's a Bertolt uh, shot glass now. Fuck. Well, this shit is awkward. Anyway. Um, so, comparison. The Aldeans live peacefully for a hundred years. The Americans, well, they don't live peacefully for a hundred years, but, you know. I mean, even they were involved in World War I at the end, so. Not, not, not a perfect comparison, but. <coughs> but, the Marlians... And I'm not saying anything about comparing which one to which one. This is just a comparison of events that happen. The Marlians launch a surprise attack on Shiganshina in a similar way the Japanese launched a uh, surprise attack on Pearl Harbor. Not comparing fictional Marlians to the Japanese of World War II or or to the Americans, or anything like that. We're just talking about these battles. Then, years later, years later, the Eldians attack Marley. Devastation untold. In a similar manner to the Americans dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And you look at that and you think, well, cuz that that that's always been the question is were those two bombs justified? And you can't even think you can't even somewhat answer the question. It's, it's, it's so difficult to answer that question. Even though the answer should be, should we have dropped those bombs? The answer should be a most definite no. But that's the thing, you know? That's the thing. And I think uh, even during the war, I mean, before it was dropped... They, I, I, I think I heard. Th don't quote me on this part. Do, do the research. Uh, do the research for yourselves to really know what happened. This is just so. Don't take all of what I'm saying with a grain of salt. But I think President Truman heard about. You know, like okay, we got the bombs. We can do this. This would, f you know, basically force Japan to end the war. And he said, okay. What happens if we just if we don't do this? And they said, well, it is possible that without the bombs we would still win the war. However, it would mean a, at least another million dead. Um, or maybe the number is even higher than that, but it's a lot more, basically. And Truman said, well, this is horrible. But that's what we have to do, and that's what happened. Now again, grain of salt, don't quote me on any of this, do not cite me, I am completely 100% guessing. I am guessing, trying to remember what this was, what this is. If you want to find out, go do the research, you can find it, I'm sure, fairly easily. But... The thing is, in World War II, it did end. After Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Japan surrenders, the war is over. That, that, I don't know if that's what's about to happen now. And again, there are a lot of differences. There are differences between Marley. Marley is almost more of the America, I guess. You know, more of the you know, global superpower and maybe parody a bit closer to Japan. So this is not a 100%, you know, 
complete allegory. So, understand that. But with Gabi, she is saying, well, now we have to, we have to go, we have to attack them, we have to kill those devils for what they did to us. And Falco's over here saying, that is exactly what started this. The reason they attacked here is because Aaron Yeager thought that exact same thing. Aaron Yeager thought that exact same thing. And now we're here with our friends dead. And if we go over there, their friends are going to die. And then they're going to come over here and then more people are going to die. And it's going to keep going back and forth. And can you blame Gabi for this? No. No one wants to be told, no, you can't fight. This needs to end. You know? After a crazy attack like this, you want to go punish those bastards that did this. You don't want to be the first one to be told, no, it stops now. <sighs> but then there's the problem that this was not the plan. This was not the plan, apparently. We don't know what the original plan was. We don't know what the original plan was. If Parody was just going to go and just try to enter world relations, we don't know. But Aaron sent the letter, so this is all completely premeditated. Uh, see, we were speculating, like, during that entire conversation with Rhino, maybe he was going back and forth on it until eventually, you know, when he hears Willie Tiber declare war, he's like, well, guess I'm going to go to war. But no, this seems to be premeditated. Those letters he sent were not letters of, hey, things are going well here. It's letters of, hey, so I've been here a while, despite you not wanting me to be here. And I'm going to kill them. Come and help me. I'm going to put myself in a hostage situation. And kill them. And you're going to come help me. Because you have to. He took advantage of that. He took advantage of the fact that they would come rescue him. They would move heaven and earth to come rescue him. And they did. They did. So, Zeke is in on it. Apparently, Eldia will be free, according to him. Uh, so, presumably then, uh, presumably then, uh, it basically means that those soldiers that were there, uh, Yelena Onyakapon, um, sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, but they were people specifically sent by Zeke to reinforce and armor up, basically, uh, the parody, uh, Eldians, which is interesting. We're not sure why. How has Zeke turned? How has Zeke turned? But, uh, interesting thing that they mentioned, like, yeah, because Zeke is of royal blood, Eren can use him to control the founding Titans doesn't need to be Historia anymore. Doesn't need to be Historia. So that's pretty crazy. But yeah, this is all a plan. All a plan. That's why it wasn't really a fight between Levi and Zeke. They just got him out of there. And Sasha's dead. And it, I, I, I'm glad for Jean saying, this is your fault, Aaron. Because you dragged the scouts into a war. This is your fault. And honestly, that, I mean, the first time this season, Aaron has showed other emotions. Like, because I like, I, I like Armin and Mikasa going over and crying over the death of Sasha. Mikasa crying about her. They were sisters. 
sisters in arms. And so for her to be that emotional over Sasha, I that's astounding, you know? And yeah, that has affected that has affected Aaron too. And yeah, for for just I can't believe what was just almost a throwaway line in season 1 of like, oh, well when we def- when we take back our land, we'll grow all the meat we want, you know, just this cheerful little this cheerful girl just talking about meat and food. And that is so heartbreaking, you know? <sighs> Sasha is dead because Aaron has dragged us into the next war. <sighs> okay. Oh, the show gets more fun with every passing episode. Oh, I'm gonna miss our meat loving baby girl. I'm very curious to see how, like, what Zeke's plan is, what every part of Zeke being in this is. Like, I'm so curious, but. Oh boy. Guess that's basically it. With all that being said, I'm Alex from Seventh Hour Films, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Alright, guys, thanks for watching this video. There's a bunch of links on screen. If you want to go click around to any of those, there's a playlist for all of my Attack on Titan reactions, as well as another video you can go click on if you want to go click on another video of mine. There's also a subscribe button and a Patreon button on screen, as well as other links in the description if you want to go check out any of those. See you guys later.